chat. That's an actual tappy chain. We'll go to beast mode and Canes here. 14 nothing Canes on top. The great part about having a sponsor in Duncan, having this uh, great tournament of champions, how about the ability to take third place in a tournament and take home just as much as you would if you won a Friday Night Football during the year? That, that's big. That's, that's, that's a big-time thing. And something like that is only possible because – we're, we're, we have Duncan, a part of the family right now, and they, they've come on board and made it possible for third place to, to win essentially a Friday night football. I mean, what more could you ask for? So Pavin is the first one into the final four. Watch the wheel route on the right. Oh, never mind. Crosser's open too. <laughs> oh, how about Beast Mode? Mac breaking out first time. Is the other thing about playing a new game. We're going to see some teams get tested out. Beast Mode rocking those Raiders. I mean, speed out there, wide receiver with rugs, a great running back in Josh Jacobs, and a quarterback that a lot of people are wondering, what are you? Are you good or bad in Derek Carr? Yeah. Um, I, I think a lot of – the way that the game is designed, you can use a lot of these quarterbacks. Derek Carr isn't that bad to where – like, you can definitely use him. He's, he's a, a valid guy to use. He's very much usable, so you you can you can use these guys. This is just a matter of the rest of the players. I haven't looked at the team to know enough and how usable and, and valid they can be used. I, I've seen someone in the chat say the Raiders are underrated, but I don't know. I haven't looked at the team actually. I don't know what what their speed is like. They always have speed because the Raiders is it's, it's an Al Davis thing. Let's draft speed. Uh, Zalonius in the chat uh, with a great question to the chat asking, who do you guys support? Zalonius, a Packers fan. Uh, Cap, of course, is an Eagle fan. Boogs is obviously a Browns fan, right? Did they do that right? Stop it. And honestly, okay, sorry. Zalonius, I take it, I take back that deal. We can no longer work <laughs> together. It's because he's, he's in the division. It's <laughs> we can no longer it's rough, man. We can no longer be friends, bro. It's over. That deal is done. Well, he just likes rooting for good teams. I get it. <laughs> 14 nothing. but Beast Mode trying to cut into this lead of Canes. On outside the pocket, Derek Carr. What do you make of Derek Carr? Are you, are you, do you think Derek Carr is a, let's say, top, let's say top 15 quarterback in the league? No. I don't really? Really? I don't think he's a top 15 quarterback. I, I, I can't think of – I feel like I can name 15 quarterbacks better than him. 15 to 20, I think Carr's that's, a, 15 that's a better – Oh, God, yeah. That's the boy in beast saying Carr better than Stafford. So wrong. It's just incorrect. Oh, he had the tight end. He missed it. Yeah. Stafford is the most underrated quarterback in the league. Stafford's been, Stafford's been getting hosed by the Lions organization for 10 years. There's no way Derek is at least 11. Really? I don't know if he's 11. 28 to 32? Nah, that's disrespectful. No, no, no. No, no, no. He's, uh, I, I sort of have him slotted around 15. Nice pass to the wheel route. Josh Jacobs with the catch. But I feel like this is a real prove it year. It, he's got some, some weapons out there. He's got Jacobs. He's got Waller. He's got Ruggs. This is sort of the last chance, I think, if you're, if you're Las Vegas. Like, either Derek Carr performs this year or you hit the road. Guys, Kev, when Wentz get to year 12, I promise you his numbers and his career will not look better than Matthew Stafford's. Just remember, Wentz, Wentz is best. Wentz, Wentz has a Super Bowl ring and a Super Bowl he never got to play in, so – uh, all right, folks. Let's uh let's remind people coming up tomorrow morning, ten thirty Eastern time. We're gonna be get running with Duncan and boy. Let's talk about the snacks challenge. How exciting is this to have snacks Harrison involved uh with uh with you? Are you excited to play with a former Detroit Lion? I mean, I couldn't be more excited to be able to play with my guy, Big Snacks Harrison. Man, I, I had an opportunity to talk to him and kick with him. He's super excited. He can't wait to get out here and play the yard with me and uh, other Madden pros and go out here and dominate the competition. We're looking to come out here and dominate. We're we're not looking to do any giveaways as far as if you can beat us or not. 
we don't want to give away anything. We're trying to keep it, keep it all for ourselves so that we can stack it up and, and give it to our loved ones or, or, or Nick or somebody like that. But it's going to be great, a great time. I can't wait. Um, it's going to be a lot. We have a lot of great Madden pros in, involved that are going to come and kick it with us and play some Madden. I've heard the yard is super fun. I got to get some action and yard action in tonight before we actually get down tomorrow. It's going to be a lot of fun. Again, 1030 Eastern time and it's going to be the next couple of Saturdays, guys. So make sure you get your Duncan and then you hang out with Duncan uh, as uh, Boogs, uh, Boogs gets to work, uh, ripping some packs and then playing with Snacks Harrison and a special guest. And you can be a part of that. Get on the yard uh, in the morning. I I don't think there's any better way to start off a Saturday than to play the yard. I, I know, Boogs, will tomorrow be – are you going to test out the yard at all tonight, or is tomorrow going to be your first time on the yard? I'm, I'm going to test it out because I need to know the meta. Who knows the meta? Who knows the glitches? I need to know – how do I glitch the people? I'm, I need to know all the cheese. I need you all to fly it in. Somebody in the chat knows it. I need you to go ahead and DM me. You know, you know the at – Make sure you DM me the information so that I can come out here and be ready for the yard, and I'm not out here looking crazy. Derek Carr on first and 10. Beast for the Mac with the ball to start the second half. He'll find Williams up the field. Nice pass to, I believe that's Tyrell Williams, to the 48-yard oh, line. <laughs> Bro, I need it all. I need to know what, what's the glitches. I need to know. How do you be great in in the yard? Like, what, what's the key? What's the key to success? Like, I heard one thing. You want to do a pass behind the backfield thing to, to end the timer. Yeah. I did learn that. I need, I, I'm glad I know that. The double, the double pass passes. Is, yeah, I the one timers double are, are glitchy. Good dot right there. I need to know the archetypes and stuff like that. What's the glitchy archetypes? And am I am I is my player gonna suck because I haven't played none of the yard? Like, is this one of those things where I gotta grind? No. First and ten for Carr. And beast mode back down by seven. Looks to the outside. A tight end came on last year. Aaron Waller. The catch. You need to actually play or he'll be awful. Get grinding, buddy. Oh, God. So tomorrow, guys, 1030 Eastern, uh, you should be on the yard because I think you're going to have a great chance to beat books. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure. I don't, I don't know if, if um, Snacks has played a lot of yard yet either. We're probably going to be freestyling, so we're going to be relying on um, whichever Madden Pro we have come in tomorrow night, I mean tomorrow morning. Maybe we're going to be relying on that guy to, to help us out and really carry the load because it might get rough. Third down and five. Remember, that stream is going to be right here, twitch.tv slash TV. Nice low ball to Williams. Another catch for Williams to the 16-yard line. Bugs, I, I mean, again, that, um, that AFC West. Uh, again, I know the NFL season is up in the air, but you talk about the young talent in that league, the Chargers, the Broncos. Uh, this Raiders team, who I think is criminally underrated, all trying to take down the Chiefs. That's going to be a fun division to watch for years to come. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's definitely going to be a super fun division to watch. It's always fun to watch the chase that goes down with the number one team in the league. And, and people are always looking up, trying trying to snatch them. Um, so, we, I don't know, man. It, I feel like nobody's really going to be able to catch them. The Chiefs are just that good offensively to the point to where you just don't know. You just really don't know what to, uh, like what anybody can do with those guys. Like nobody can really stop them. I don't see that happening. And as long as their defense does what they did in the Super Bowl, the sky's the limit for those guys. Uh, folks, uh, Rockets is flying in some breaking news as Josh Jacobs to the house. Beats what Matt going to tie this game up, assuming he makes the extra point. Folks, it looks like Rockets is flying in some pretty crucial information in the Discord. He's, he's trying to – I think he's trying to both make you excited for tomorrow morning and to make the people excited to play you tomorrow morning. Hey, man. I didn't know if it was okay to announce it. Uh, I didn't know if we were supposed to be sharing that information. Uh, but I don't know how I feel about this. Honestly, Nick, I, I'm really kind of on the fence about who, who I'll be playing with tomorrow. Just for the simple fact, he could kind of be kind of a toxic teammate. 
he definitely can be kind of a co- toxic teammate. It is not right. the one so great one user. great user is definitely a possibility. Got it. But obviously, when I say the word toxic, that's the first person. <laughs> hey, if you haven't figured it out yet, we got my guy Stiff coming tomorrow. We're going to be playing. It's going to be me, Stiff. It's going to be super fun. You know Stiff is going to be loud and screaming in my ear. He's one of those teammates that can definitely be toxic. I play Call of Duty with him, uh, Black Ops, not Black Ops, Warzone, and he's definitely a toxic teammate. He's one of those guys that yells and screams at you, even when you didn't do anything wrong. He's just he's one of those kind of guys. And he really, his skill set doesn't match the amount of craziness that he, he says in your ear. Well, I mean, your job tomorrow, Bogues, is going to be to make sure that Snacks Harrison wants to come back next week. You got to make sure, you got to keep yeah. stiff in check. Honestly, I, I've, I've come to the realization that it's going to be one of those days where I got to wear my back brace. Oh. The back brace is going to be oh, on. Oh, no. Ancap, don't say that. That's Bugs, uh, Bugs' biggest weakness. <laughs> Kyle, a legend. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, but it's going to be a fun day. Of Zoom is a cheap shot. And, and some great prizes booked. Uh, if, uh, if you get on the yard and you match up with uh, the team of Boogs, Stiff, and uh, Snacks Harrison, there's some stellar prizes out there. Yeah. We, uh, you know, each player, if, if, you're, if you match up with us, make sure you're ready. Make sure you're in here tomorrow morning, ready to lurk us. Because if you can beat us, each player on your team is going to get a $25 Dunkin' gift card as well as a mud head t-shirt. So it's gonna be a it's gonna be a fun time in the stream. I don't plan on giving away any of that. Like I said, my, my sister-in-law, she she loves Dunkin' Donuts. Uh she's pregnant right now and she's just every time she comes over, she always comes over on the weekend. I told her she wanna make sure she's over here this weekend. But uh she always comes over on the weekend and she always has some Dunkin' Donuts snacking on something. So it, 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 I want to make sure I'm holding on to all those gift cards so I can give it away to her so she can feel like I'm the best brother, brother-in-law ever. Yeah, big shout-out to Duncan for uh, being such a big part. So, again, 1030 tomorrow, uh, twitch.tv slash mudheadtv right here. Um, no, dude, vodka, you, you didn't get it right. Vodka did I, – I, I love vodka one-on-one proof, one of my favorite guys. No. You hit. You don't hit up at Boogs Tough. I don't know who Boogs Tough is on Twitter. That guy, total bum. Hit up at Boogs on Twitter. They're down in four. Back to work goes Canes. Tie ball game. Nice comeback so far from Beast Mode, but Canes back to work. Fours up in the chat. It's a tie ball game. The pressure keeps ramping up. Beast Mode was able to fight his way back into the game. Uh, he was able to fight his way back into the game and, and put himself in a position to where now, all he has to do is clamp up. If he clamps up, he, he's, he's in a, a key spot because once you – man, it's all about momentum. It's all about momentum. So the, the fact that he, he's gotten in his position, now it's going to be hard for Keynes to, to stop him if he's able to get this stop. It's just one of those things where, like, momentum is key in, in sports games. First and 10, trying to lob that up. That's picked off by Beast Mode Maggots. Muse going the other way, and a major turnover in the middle of the field. The momentum has swung the way of Beast Mode Mac and those Las Vegas Raiders. It's a real thing. That momentum that I was just talking about, it's a real thing where you just kind of just start locking in on your opponent, making adjustments. They start feeling some pressure. They start feeling the pressure to have to score faster, or, and they're starting to second-guess and question themselves and what they're doing offensively that allowed them to you to get back into the game. And then defensively, they're questioning everything. Like, man, I had him in a bag all game, but now he, didn't, he was able to put together some drives. I don't know what to do. It, it becomes a real – chess match at that point and that momentum is just starts to weigh down on, on the guy that that is not in favor of 
Best part about that, Bose, that was a linebacker making the pick. The linebacker just didn't let the ball go over his head. He made a play on the ball. Oh, he got a dot up the middle. Up with That's an absolute dot to Gafford. Uh, let's do a giveaway here before we uh, see possibly a, t- uh, a game-winning touchdown. We're going to give away Steve Atwater. And, man, I was well, looking in the chat. There were a bunch of people going, give me that Steve Atwater. 89 overall. 86 speed, 87 excel at free safety, 86 zone coverage, and but the big one, Bugs, that 89 hit power. This is a guy who's going to get enforcer, and he's going to be a big hitter on your defense. Yeah, you want this guy on your team. This is Steve Atwater, a big hitter, a guy that's probably going to get enforcer, and he's, he's and I've been hearing great reviews about that Adrian Wilson and the things that he brings to the table, the, the size, the hit power, everything – that, he, that you want on the field, Adrian Wilson brings to the table. Well, this guy is pretty much the same archetype. So you you can expect the same thing from this guy. So you can just pair those two together and just say, hey, hey boys, just go ahead and enforce. Mm-hmm. Again, all you got to do to win this one, you just got to be active in the chat, be following the channel. Make sure you smash that follow button, guys. You're going to want to be a part of all these broadcasts we have going on, starting uh, not just with our tournament champions tonight, running with Duncan tomorrow morning at 1030 with Boogs. Friday Night Football, our Tyson Pro-Am. There's so much going on, guys. So make sure you hit that follow button so you can be eligible to win. And make sure, as always, you're not a crack weasel. You're a positive force for good in the chat. Big shout-out to our guy, Mutt Guru. Second out of 10. Derek Carr dropping back in this 14-14 game, and he might have just thrown a pick back. Somehow he doesn't catch it. Oh, man. Kane's right now is shaking his head. He's going crazy on that on the other side of the screen. He's super sick because – Beastmo had a wide open guy up in the middle of the field. He had the post wide open, but he threw the the one guy that was being lurked. And Kane's dropped the pick. I know he's super sick about that one. Now he's gonna have to he's gonna have to just forget about it. It's over. Get on to the next play. You have to hold him to three here, or t- or make him turn the ball over. They're down at ten. Five man rush. He's got a man over the top. It's the rookie Henry rocks into the end zone. The rock making plays for Beast Mode Mac. Could that have won him the game? Canes. He's got a guap drive upcoming. Wow. What always happens when when you <laughs> when you drop a pick? The play right after you give up a touchdown or you give up a dot. It just it never fails. You know what to expect. Right there. He gives up a touchdown over the top right after putting himself in a position to get a stop. That sucks for him, but you have you can't give that play up. He pressed up. He pressed Henry Ruggs, and you can't do that. You just can't. Henry Ruggs with the burner. Shout out to Snoop Compound and the GGL in the chat. What's going on, GGL guys? This is our final game of round number three. We have one matchup set in the final four books. Pavin will be taking on Joke. Oh, boy, how good will that be? Oh, yeah, that's going to be a really good matchup. That's going to be a really good matchup. Pavin has been balling all day long. He, he's really keeping people off balance. And Joke, being a more of a defensive-minded player, I, I can't wait to see how does he adjust to the things that Pavin, Pavin's doing, all of the different audibles and stuff like that. I'm sure Joke is aware of what Pavin's doing at this point. I'm going to see how he's going to adjust that. And then you got – that's going to be a battle. That's going to be a battle. Uh, My guy, Sahil, in the chat, social media manager for Pavin, who is just one of the best. Uh, Great point. It's a rematch of the run commit game, Boogs. Will Joke run commit to lose the game again? I don't think he'll ever make that mistake. No, I I don't think he's making that mistake at all. That matchup is going to be a good matchup. And honestly, don't forget, not only was it a, a run commit game, but remember, they played each other in single elimination as well. And Joe got the better he, – he, he got the best of them in that game. He, he got was the able revenge, to beat yeah. him. In, yeah, he got the revenge game. So I know Pavin – I'm sure Pavin is a competitor. I, I know that he has that competitive spirit. And he's thinking, I, I want my revenge. Because anybody I've ever lost to in any tournament, I'm always thinking about that guy. I want him again, period. So I know Pavin wants to play that guy again. Our winner of that, uh, Steve Atwater, is – Cruzic lips. Cruzic lips. Congratulations. Check your whispers. First and 10 for Canes. Guap drive. Trying to tie this one up. Buck 53 to go in the ballgame. Garoppolo dropping back. Looking left side. He's got Mostert wide open. He'll pick up the first down. 
Keynes is he has some good dots right now on this bunch tight end. Uh, and, and you see he has two wide receivers. You're gonna that's what you're gonna expect to be the meta. That personnel right there. That's a very favorable personnel uh to where you, you really want to be able to to audible to run formations and stuff like that and put yourself in a position to where you do not have to face the better pass defenses. You don't want to have to go against Dollar and and one four sixes of the world. You want to face the nickels and even better a three four or something like that. You want to go against those defenses. What's up, Kanar? Good to see you, man. Thank you so much for tuning in. Final game of round number three. The final four has three participants who will take on Drini, who is on to the final four after a twenty to seventeen win over Ivy Strafen. We'll take on the winner of this game. Beast Mac with the lead, but Kane's on the drive. 22-yard line, buck five and counting. Jamal Adams era. Appreciate the lead, Oh, speaking man. of run Blitz commit, he's just run commit. Got a man over the top. It's Kittle. The run commit comes back. It's Kane's with the touchdown, taking advantage of Beast Mode Mac's aggressiveness. And now Beast Mode Mac, he'll get the guap drive right back. Kane just may have regained that the momentum that he needed to to really grab this game and close it out. I know he's on tilt right now because of that that drop pick, but all, none of that matters anymore. It's a tie ball game. You have a chance to win this game, and none of it matters anymore. Now you just have to come out here, play some defense. You, he ran commit. I don't know if it was accidental or not. But you got him to run commit. You got a touchdown. Now you have to play some defense and lock up. Fire Jack, first time here, bud. Yeah, this, this is a great way to kick off Friday Night Football, our first tournament here of Madden 21. Nick Mazesco Boogs along with you. See if Beast Mode Matt can put together a nice drive and get into field goal range. Both players with all three timeouts. Was that about the Chris Weber one? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I was, I was like, yeah. Henry Ruggs with the catch, guys. Don't forget. Uh, if you want to comp- uh, be a part of Friday Night Football uh, and uh, you want to maybe take home a $1,000 prize, become a household name, compete against the best, exclamation point, compete in the chat. As Boogs always says, uh, treat it like a resume. Treat it like a job interview. Put down as much information as you can. We're looking to fill that player pool up. Get some new faces in here. Exclamation point, compete in the chat. First and 10, he'll find Williams underneath. Picks up a couple, 46 seconds, first time out taken. I beast mode Mac. Uh, this play right here, this double post play is very PA post esque, uh, where he uh, you have the C route. I don't know how familiar some of you guys in the chat are with PA post of the of the olden days, where you would have a post route and then you also have a a C route um, on the on the solo side receiver to where now you you really can put some pressure. You can stack, you can run a drag towards the C route. And now if, if they don't have a flat, hard flat, then you can throw it to the drag. Or if they hard flat, you got the C route. And that's, it's a great combination right there that's really tough to stop. Plus, when you have that post route in the middle of the field that, that beats man and cooks man, your opponent really doesn't know what to do. C routes always end in tears for me. Agreed. Struggle's real. First and 10. Beast Mac, one timeout remaining. He's on his own 48 yard line. In that gun bunch offset. Dropping back his car. Oh, oh, oh. Picked up he nicely. had a touchdown. He had a touchdown in the middle of the field. If he throws that post, he has a touchdown. There's nobody in the middle of the field. It looks like Kane's accidentally blitzed his safety, which, which created an opening in the middle of the field to where he just threw it and just walked into the end zone. Or he could have just ran down and got down and kicked his three. No matter what, he blew a big time opportunity. Let's see if he can make up for it. Second down and ten. And the Watch bunch of set Williams in the slot. I expect Kings to double flat the solo side. I expect the double flat so he doesn't give up anything over there. He double flat on the solo side. Great He's defense the right there. That's great lane. defense. Helps to throw this one away. Twenty eight seconds left. Third and ten. What adjustment are you making if you're beast mode Mac? Uh, 
I think you go right back to it. That play is really tough to stop. Uh, I think you go back to it. Um, he, he had Gage, you're right. He may have been able to get over the top of that with that that post in the middle of the field. It didn't look like Kane's user got back fast enough. I know what Kane's was doing. He just wasn't able to get there. I, I picture that play as the one that uh, when Antonio Brown got mad that Ben didn't throw in the ball. And oh, he, he threw a pick six. He overthrew it, and Sherman picked it off, and he's got open space for the win per chance. 19 seconds left, Kane's into the end zone, and overthrow from Derek Carr and Richard Sherman says thank you for the present. Wow. Just like that, the momentum shifted right back into Kane's hands, and he was able to pull – to get a pick six, I think he got a, a, a pressure and accurate throw or under pressure throw. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yep, post was open twice, didn't throw it either time, and then pays the price. 19 seconds, one timeout, and Beast Mode Mac needs a touchdown to force overtime. Richard Sherman making plays. Yeah, that that was a big time play. Sherman was was activated as well, and you know that as Madden players, we we tend to look to the plays that don't work out best for us. Uh, yes, there was a, a under pressure throw, and we might not like that as a Madden player. But if you're beast mode Mac, you have to be looking at it like this: you miss touchdowns, and you would not have been oh, in that position if you missed didn't miss those touchdowns. You take the sack there. You, you get rid of that timeout. This is where those zone drop adjustments can come into play. You can drop almost everybody back and go throw it underneath. I do love seeing slip screens back in Madden. I love seeing that they're useful again. Yes. It, it's, it's definitely a great thing to have slip screens back in Madden. Slip screens have not – they haven't been that effective over the last few years. Um, and so to see them in Madden and working and being effective, I'm happy to see that. And, and you're definitely seeing guys use it, utilize it as, as much as possible. Uh, I don't really like the fact that sometimes it seems like it works against man. I can have the, the running back manned up and he'll still somehow get over, yeah. uh, get some yards. Uh, other than that, I like the fact that slip screens are effective in Madden again. Uh, Mike, not tyke. Uh, y- usually they're played separately. Usually we stagger them. So I would assume we will stagger them once again as that will put zeros on the clock. And Boogs, our final four is set. Let's talk about our two matchups. On the top.